Hello, 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 and welcome today back to some more Minecraft here on the Zerker Actually Plays channel. Now, um, I have not played this in a while. Uh, in case you realise, I was actually away on holiday. Um, I pre-recorded tons of stuff, which may have seen, which may you may, you may have seen, sorry, uh, why I've not addressed certain comments or hadn't done certain things that have been asked for repeatedly. Uh, those episodes were all recorded in advance. Make sure you guys had stuff whilst I was away. But I'm back now, here to slay and here to stay. Holy moly, they've been at it. They have been doing some... That, 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 I'm guessing that's how they do it. They must do a little bit of a... Also, I've got to kill some of them now. Like, because they're a bit too many. A bit like, overcrowded, overpopulation down here. But I did see there's some scoots in that corner um, when I was destroying the Enderman. I didn't realise that. So I missed out on the scoots. Apologies. I also saw that apparently some of my footage corrupted. Um, so you wouldn't have seen me get myself a spyglass. You wouldn't have seen me... Um, complete that advancement of looking at a ghast through a spyglass um or maybe even that i don't know what ones you missed out on basically i got some stuff done evidently mine never crashes uh probably because of the shaders so i think when i go into never i need to turn off my shaders and then when i come back out turn it back on um because it seems to crash i don't know why but anyway things that i got done um for sure for sure uh was was I, I did the respawn anchor, <clears throat> which is basically combining crying obsidian with glowstone and you charge it up by putting four glowstone in there. It lights up. You have a respawn anchor in the nether, which I can show you at some point soon today, hopefully, uh, if I go into nether that is. And that will basically you can just respawn. There. It's like a bed in nether. That's obviously beds blow up in nether. Um, then we also did that. I looked at a ghast uh, through a spyglass. So now I have this one. So now I've got the Ender Dragon one. But I need to get the parrot still. Um, obviously, I need to find myself a Nether Fortress and get a Blaze Rod. That'd be very easy. People have said, said to do that. And I've got some notes of comments as well. Let me find these notes that I've got. People have requested I make a grindstone to disenchant items. Um, because obviously, you'll see. Uh, if I go down here, hopefully. I don't even there. Not that. Those books could work though. Um, in this one. So I have these, right? I can disenchant these if I wanted to. Um, and it gets me XP. Depending on how hard it is to secure that enchantment. Um, also, people say I need to... Like, I can basically like delete blocks. I delete a bookshelf or bookcase. Uh, or get rid of it. Hit it with my axe. And that'll reset my advancement. Also, another way of doing it as well is to... Just do an advance. Just, just do an enchantment, basically. Um, I said, I said advance on there, but do an enchant, do an enchantment, and it will reset and give you new ones. So take a low level one. Well, as you see, I'm only, I'm only level three right now, um, due to me dying in the Never again, um, as per usual. So not the greatest of uh, positions to be in. But let me put some blue flowers, which I found was in the last episode. Don't know if you saw that or not. I'm not entirely sure. I just know some footage corrupted, and we had to do, do an outro saying like. Footage corrupted. Sorry, basically. But not ideal at all. But I'm happy to be back on this series. I need to make sure to get um, some sunken land and stuff done for the people that want in that opposed to just Minecraft only. But obviously Minecraft I was really enjoying before I went away, so I just did loads of it. Um, but I need to get the other games going too as well. Um, and get this channel active as it was before. So people also said to not waste coal. I should use coal for torches only. I should start using wood in the furnaces because um i have more than enough wood and i can obviously go and get tons of wood because easily sourceable and all i need to do is take the birch logs we'll take spruce logs let's take spruce logs all i need to do uh to get spruce logs how do we make these do i need to burn it with this first get charcoal so i might have to use that to get that in the first place, but not the worst thing ever. Um, what else would you have missed out on? I think that should be everything that you would have missed out on. Hopefully not too much. Apparently me finding the ancient debris was actually pretty hard to do. Um, and I got really lucky. Apparently some people out there, they, they place TNT down and blow the hell out of never and still don't find it. Um, so evidently, I did pretty well. Um, also, if I was to go to never again and I was to name... Uh, a piglin. So if I put a name tag on them, they shouldn't despawn. Apparently, also if they're in a boat, they don't despawn. I need to make sure I take this fire resistance whenever I go there. 
Whenever I go to the nether, I should always take this potion of fire resistance. And then if I fall into lava, or if I if I get hit by a ghast or I set on fire somehow, don't put water down. Just drink this. Stay calm. Don't panic. That was my instructions that I was given by you guys. Um, but yeah, what's the main aim for today? Oh, we'll sleep. Um, people taught me some hints of how I could get the phantom piercing achievement. Maybe to get the piercing crossbow done first. Um, but that is by building like a little tower, maybe like two blocks high, and then putting a boat on top, like right, pillar here, pillar here, and then boat on top, and then standing here and baiting the phantoms in. They'll land on it, and then Bob's your uncle, as they say. Um, also, need to try and get a beehive here before, and try and get silk touch. So you've got the, got the bee uh, stuff done in the end with the honey. But it'd be nice to get an actual beehive here. Apparently bees are really good for crops too. And what I didn't know as well is I can actually just place bone meal down on dirt. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I showed you that. I could place uh, bone meal on dirt or grass and it will spawn a bunch of flowers. So that's obviously a very easy way of getting yourself some extra flowers and stuff. I'm going to plant this down. I would like a beehive to spawn here. That'd be great. That'd be class, in fact, would be the word I'd use. Uh, hopefully, this will start disintegrating. So I think that is... It's probably knowing it, there's some wood up here somewhere. It goes quite high, so it wouldn't surprise me if there was some wood up there. Yeah, as expected. Is that going to work? It was. Any more? If any more? It's still quite high up here. Oh no, it's all falling. It might be alright. I just connected that one, that's all. Just disconnect them. I think that's how it works. Lovely. What oh, apple? Hey, apple. So then I just need to plant myself some more saplings down here. And hope something happens. Cool. Enjoy your growing. Um, now, what I was going to do, and I'll do it now, is farm these so I don't need to touch the, the uh, branches because they just constantly keep regrowing which is another comment that I need to address there you go um, an iron golem is what people wanted me to make um, now the advancement says that it needs to protect a villager I think that one does that uh, is it in here no is it in husbandry Where is it? No. Is it? it must be in here. Yes, yeah, summon an iron golem to help defend the village. But maybe, just maybe, it doesn't need to be a village. It just can be here. Um, so to do that, I need to use a lot of my iron. So I need to get smelting. Smelting! Does it protect me? It'd be quite nice. Uh, there you go. Get him cooking. People also, people also tell me I'm crafting only having one furnace, which is fair enough. Um, I hear your comp I hear your complaints, and I'll, I'm uh, t trying to work on that. But to make an iron golem, I need four iron blocks, which is what? Just not that's eighteen twenty thirty six iron uh, ingots, uh, accompanied by a pumpkin head. Okay, just a sheared pumpkin, right? I think that's what it is. I don't know how it Did you make it in here? Golem. You gotta shear the pumpkin first. And yeah, we can do some more exploring. You can see the board is not even in my periphery anymore, which is nice. So now it feels like a much more visually pleasing server. So I've got this massive board around me anymore. 
People really enjoyed my building episode as well. Um, so I might have to do some more building. People said to make a basement here and go ahead with the idea that I said of having like a, like a glass, I want to have like a glass section somewhere. as a nice view. Um, and have like a sea facing glass wall, which would be quite cool. So you have this here. I could extend this, give them more room. I do feel a bit concerned that they have absolutely no room at all. And it will beef over the water as well. We should make their water thing bigger. I'll just kill some of them, but that's quite sad, isn't it? Like, murdering them would be a very sad thing to do. Give me that. 20, that's 29. Give some XP back as well. So you can go to Never and get quartz. That's really good for XP. More charcoal, adds into there. You're right, that's a good idea. Just basically take a stack of wood and turn it into charcoal. And eventually I can get rid of this. I probably can get rid of that already and keep the coal. And it's cooking quite a lot right now. How do we get grindstone? Grind... no. I don't know how to make a grindstone. I have to Google a grindstone. That seems pretty easy. It's just like, it's just like a stone slab. I guess I, haven't, I can't see it yet. It's just a stone slab. Um, I'll take that out. With um, sticks and some wooden planks. Seems strangely easy. Right, there's your 36. So then, have I got shears in here? Yeah. So plant that down. Is it not a crafting table item? Is it like a... I'm really doing it? I'm, I'm doing it. I commit into it. I don't think it's a crafting table vibe, is it? I think it's actually you place it down on the floor. Let me see where he... Let me see if I can do this. So I think I just, I think I just place you down. So if I go one, two, three, four, and then you just go... I've hired help. So now he just, he just patrols my ends and helps me out. Okay, another advancement done. Off the get go. Love that. Um, have I got any stone? If I can just do this. I need three of it though, actually. Um, do I need stone in here? Andesite, andesite, chisel stone bricks. No. Just cobblestone. He's out there just patrolling now. Do I have to name him? It's Bruce. What could his name be? I like Bruce, actually. It might, it might, it might just be outside called Bruce. Bruce. That's what, that's what he does. Just defends. Where'd he go? Boss man. Wait. Oh. I can't name Bruce. Fair. He isn't going to go anywhere, though, is he? He's going to stay here. Right. So if I go uh, stone slabs, then you'll see grindstone is now able to be made. So you need planks. Grindstone. Lovely. So this disenchant stuff, so I might as well put it down here in the enchantment room for now. Also, that chest has got to move as well. Um, so to test it, like, for example, let's say... Uh, let's just try the soul speed. we we'll go soul speed 2. I'll plop it into the grindstone. I get iron boots, a little bit of XP. Not much, but something. Guess I started. Curse of Vanishing, isn't that pretty poo? Oh, it stays there. You can't get rid of the, you can't get rid of the Curse of Vanishing. It just stays there forever. What an awful enchantment to have. I lost all my spectral arrows. Where they, are they really? Have I lost them all? I can put these in. The, yeah, I can put these in here to combine them. 
I think I, think I wasted some before in trying to combine them in different areas. If I put these together here, let you'll see. Uh, does it cost me if I put it in here? Yeah, enchantment costs two. Where if I just put these in the crafting table because they're not actually enchanted, no cost to me at all. That's a mistake I made there too, apparently. Um, so just trying to rectify any issues that I've done. Um, so you can see that I've learned my lesson on certain things. Uh, pumpkins don't go in here. Don't know why you're trying to put it in there, to be honest. Why is dirt in there also? Um, treasure maps I'm unsure on. I don't know if I just, I if I just, I don't know if I destroyed all the chests that I need to yet. So I'm not even going to touch them. I think as soon as I open it, it's done. Um, it's ruined. Upstairs we go. I need to put away pumpkin seeds, the apple. It's the tool I was supposed to be putting away, wasn't it? I was supposed to be putting away this. Shears, go away. Still need some more organization everywhere, but for now, this is not too bad. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh. Um, if you could make yourself some planks again, turn those planks into uh, sticks, that'd be great. And then into torches, 61 torches, love that. Uh, spruce logs put away, got dirt in there as well, which is annoying, what's going on? Definitely, definitely, definitely want to make like an organized system in regards to everything I've got. Because did I make, did I make sticks when I didn't even need to? It's very possible I did. I'm sorry if I did. Uh, never rack away. And pumpkins, where would they go? In here, I guess. Spyglass tell me, buckets tell me. What do I normally have out here? I'm missing stuff. I don't know what I'm normally missing. Torches? Left hand it. There we go. Do farm in some more gold and do some more trading because I think I need more leather because leather obviously gets me better enchantments. I think, that, I think that's what I've got to work towards is getting a fully stacked enchantment room. Um, but you know what? It was a long evening. And I think it's time to go have a little exploration, see how that new advancement has changed the scenery around me. Um, something also learned as well from the comments is an axolotl is found in a lush cave. Um, and that is this one here. Uh, to catch an axolotl in a bucket. Now. I don't... Know. What a lush cave looks like. But. I'm on the assumption. That I would find out quite quickly if I saw it. So I shouldn't be too stressed. Apparently I didn't... I did, apparently I did miss an igloo. Um... Somewhere. Apparently it's in a ravine. Um, I'm not sure where it was. We need to go find it. And people also think I need to kill a bunch of mobs that aren't hostile. You think that I've reached the maximum spawn limit of uh, like passive mobs. Hence why no like chickens and other stuff are spawning. Which, I don't know if that's true or not. Could be the case. Could not be. I'm not sure. Ow. I'm happy to do some dirty work to find out. There's that massive border again appearing. Uh, apparently, yeah, I did, the, there was that bee's nest that I dealt with and got stung by one of them. So apparently, obviously, like in real life, a bee, a bee does die if it stings you. So he, so that one of those um, left bee's nest will only have two bees in it, or even one bee. Um, but wasn't there two bees out of sea? So that might have zero bees now. But none of that matters anyway, because I need to get silk touch on a pickaxe. When I get silk touch on a pickaxe, then it will matter, because then I will have... The ability uh, to silk touch, basically take away the bee's uh, nest or beehive, take it back to my spawn, which would be good vibes. And we have approached even closer towards this village. We are like, 
You've got to be an episode or two away from this village. It's very frustrating how close we are because there's literally wood right there. But yeah, it is quite strange that we're still not seeing like any passive mobs over here. There are definitely villagers over there, and the villagers I can't mess up because I need to be able to utilize the, the uh, villagers. Oh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna murder you as well. We go on a big Squiddledeenio murdering session. Sorry, lads, it's not your fault. Some mean people in the comments wanted you dead, so I'm doing it. I also could get some... How do I get clay? Is it this? The clay makes bricks, right? Could use a, dec use a decorative item. What the? They spawn back. Do. Uh, more fishy, fishy, fishies. Huzzah! Oh, one tap. So you would hope, like, you just go around here some more, you bump into, like, just a pig or, like, a chicken or a cow. Cows would be ideal. I need leather. But apparently, we're saying in the never that we'll, uh, <laughs> Saying can never that we'll have leather. Other than just your usual piglins for trading. But that'd be a good way of doing it, to be fair. Just going get more gold. Got a mine session, try and find a lush cave, I guess. We could we honestly we could just dig down from around here somewhere, see what we can find. Not gonna bump into anything. I can get a cave bump into a cave maybe. Maybe, maybe next time you see like a little bit of a cave situation starting, I might go and follow through with it and see what it leads to. Try and get some more gold. There wasn't there actually like sick. There was sick stuff down this way, no? Where was that cave system? Was it, it's on the far side. In the snowy side. But we've got to check out our cauldron as well. There was like some clay or some uh, ink there that I've missed, but it's fine. It's no stress. That's where the bee's nest is. So you can see the smoke over there. You can see a bee chilling over there as well. No bees over that one because I think they're all dead. Let's go to the eye section. Let's see if we can um, find... There was that cave system that over here somewhere. You'll see I have a tower somewhere. We can enter it from that side. Um, people think I should be able to find wolves in this foresty section too, but again, we've not seen them yet, so it's a bit strange. Could be such an easy um, advancement to make, wouldn't it? But I'm just not getting the luck of that right now. I could, I could kill a polar bear or two as well. Just to, uh, oh, see what um, could happen from that. Is this anything? Oh, is this, is this the ravine you were talking about? I think I have blocks down here normally, didn't I? It's embarrassing, he just died trying to get to me. How you feel, how you feel, how you feel? A waste of blocks that was. You know, there's an igloo in there, are you? I mean, there's stuff down there for sure. Oh. Well, let's go down there, screw it. What's the worst that could happen? I die? 
not got a whole heap of stuff to lose. Is copper actually any good for decorating? Is there any good like I haven't seen? I need to look at some inspo. Like I said in the, in the episodes before, I went away. I was saying about getting some inspo for like house builds and stuff. So I need to actually do that and go ahead with that. Let's get some more iron whilst we can. Check out what's in here. It's a big drop down there. So basically, we're going to look for iron, copper, coal. The no, iron, coal, gold, diamonds, obviously, but that's a no-brainer. There's iron there. Someone also said that I found. What did I find? It was to do with iron. A sp not a spore. It wasn't a spore. It was saying. Saying similar set though, I swear. I thought I found saying to have iron, it was I guess gonna be a lot of iron. I missed out on. Oh, is that tough? Uh oh, be careful around there, because if you lava. Any diamonds gonna be down here? Diamond, diamond, diamonds on me pants, man. A bit low for diamonds, a bit high for diamonds, aren't we? Wood. Now that is interesting. Oh, cave spider, they're poisonous. So there should be a cave spider spawner in this then. And it's right there. Oh my god, I remember there's a time I was struggling for bloody string I know that I know there's a zombie there don't worry I'm just exploring Ooh. thank you thank you to do this as well that also works that's a tip I got from you guys double click on that and you get it all at once like so like so like so put that away um We'll see what detector is quite important. I have to throw some stuff away. Hey, hey, you, big man. Where's that spider at? Be careful, gravel above you. Creeper ahead as well. Huzzah! Do you think this one eventually leads to the other one? Or maybe they even connected in the first place. That's embarrassing for you, mate. Well, not for no reason. Go heated for no reason. I'm hearing constant zombie noises. Oh my god. Oh. There's a skelly walking around. I can hear it. I can hear him going around. Oh god. Zombies get stuck on this stuff, don't they? A lot. Last for a minute. Oh god! So much iron here. If 
Hey, if I've got some row, should I just take all the row? It's pretty quite long to make row, isn't it? I should take all the string as well, shouldn't I? My string's a lot easier to source these days, but it was at one point a very, like, hard commodity that I was after. Oh my god. Where'd he go? That's spooky around these ends, isn't it? There's a lot of stuff going on. Oh my god. Two chests. That's my torches. Ow! He's got, he's got enchanted bow. Yeah, that's that zombie, don't worry. Just, oh my god! Just seeing what's around me. Alright. Calm down, son. Oh shit. Be careful, your help isn't great. Oh. oh. Oh shit. Rodent. No, taking no risks, basically. <laughs> Got scared there. I was like, you know what? Not worth it. Not worth the hassle or the drama. Get out. Get back in when you're ready. There's a whole lot of stuff around here and they are not happy. Ow! Bro, are there, are there like a... Like a dropper over here. Ah. Oh. There's an actual spawner here. Yeah, that'd be why. Right. They're literally dropping it out from out there. Okay. Hello. Wait, is this a double spawner? Wait, this would be class. Hang on, hang on a second. I beg it is. Zombie spawner, right? <sighs> nah. Surely that's like OP as fuck. Next to cave spider spawner. Alright guys, someone's got someone's got oh god. No. Someone's gotta teach me how the hell. Make it good. Spawner like farmer thing here. I need to grind that XP out of this. Oh, case by that. That's gotta be rare though, surely, right? A spawner next to a spawner. I ain't seen that before. Look how close they are together. That's the border right there. There's not more around here. It's so loud around here. I think this will drop downstairs. A little shushing of it. Need more torches. Haven't got any coal. Oh my god. There's an amethyst thing there as well. So they, they must spawn near mine shafts then. Because the second time they've been close together. Right, let's go through these chests. I know I've got like, iron around here and stuff, but there's. Oh, 
I'm going to kill a bat just in case I'm not killed one yet. That's a passive mob. I've been to. Oh, hello. Did you spawn Critters Dark over there? Right, let's kill these dons around here. They shut up. Strange dark to the dark room. Got to have a chest. Yeah, I heard you. Where are you? You know what? Gets me later. Um. Okay. Deep slate. Boom. Swaps these. Row. In you go. Uh. Coal. There you go. Beetroot seeds. Not sure. Uh, gunpowder, I can get more of. It's quite easy to source. Ink sacks, again, easy to source. Not worth it right now. Pumpkin seeds, probably not even worth it right now either. Rotten flesh, don't need. Bread, I should just try and eat whilst it's here. Let's rehand these torches up there. Um, beetroot seeds, I'll take. I'll take seeds for now. I might sort them out and drop them. Now I'll take Eachling in there. Oi. Just ran at him like crazy. Oh, creeper. No, thanks. Anybody got time for that? This place is massive. It's gargantuan. Just put some old torches down, just so I've explored it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just basically indicate to myself everywhere that I've been and explored, so I know when going around, they're not going to get lost, because I know exactly where I've been. And normally I put torches on the left-hand side, so you know that's the way I walked when I came down there too. But sometimes I confuse myself and do, and do both. Oh, we're so close to enough some more amethyst. Oh! Yeah, blow up, why not? That's fine for me. We still got out here, oh my god. We still got so much stuff. Beetroot seeds, beetroot seeds. Um, I can swap out some more deep slate for some iron. Wow. Just head to Ralph, three of them. Uh, I've got oh, pumpkin seeds go together. Oak fence. Activate a Ralph. I need to get redstone for those, so I might as well take them. And torches, I've got one in my hand. Got a lot in my hand. I haven't got a stack in my inventory, so I can't really pick it up. Yes. Gold. Now we're talking. Um, what do you want to drop? <laughs> ah! Um, what if I was just to... There you go. Get a ton of sticks from the wood that I've got. Oh my god, Fortune 2, what does that get me? Bread, bread, glovery, glovery, powered route, okay, no. Tetra route, 13 torches. Right, now Saint's got to give, guys. I think clay balls could go for a fortune. Um, I think, I mean, arguably the bucket could go. Uh, but it's a waste of, no, you know what, the raw fish could go. Because I'll be able to get fish so easily. Let me get a full stack of this.
One more. All right, full stacked out. Love that. Okay. This mine shaft had been a lot larger than I ever expected. And I've been like stuck here for ages. This happens a lot. I go for exploration, I find saying, and I'm, and I'm stuck there for the whole episode. Because there's so much more to explore. I need to get my bread on. I'm eating that. It's too hard. It's, yeah. I should eat one more. Um, where did I come from? There's water above that. You can see that. There's more this side. Ooh, gold and redstone. But unfortunately, I can't really pick up redstone right now because I've got no space at all. There's also two chests by the spawners that I've not actually been checked out yet. Oh, just lava. Redstone, nothing this way, explored. My god, that just scared the hell out of me. Um, how much iron have I got? I need to get some more raw iron. We're almost done with uh... Oh my god. Detector rails I can get. Detector rail, golden apple. All right, I can take all those. You just swap scores like that. It's mental. How many chests have I found? I still got more chests to open when I got when I find where those spawners were. Gravel. The spawner should be to the left. This way. Do I want a name tag? They hot now because they're easy to get, aren't they? I can have a name tag if I want to. Oh wait, where did it? Where was it? Is it down here? And then none. It's not this way. No shot if I managed to lose a double spawner that I found. That's what I just opened a minute ago. Okay, there's more through here. It's just a ravine though, isn't it? Yeah. Not been down here. Oh my god, there's a chest again. Oh my god, there's iron again. Full stack of iron. Right, I actually need to get back. Bread, cool. Coal, cool. Uh, rail, I'm fully done with. Torches, cool. Seeds, cool. Why is all? Why is it all there? Where is the double spawner? <laughs> Times like these when I wish I just opened it there and then I should have marked it clearer. I'm gonna get lapis because I need it for enchanting and it's the easy XP. We're already level 14. We started off the episode today on like what three? Um so to be 14 already is good. That's a nice little step up. There we go, this is promising. Here is our spawner. She gets some armor. Ooh! Okay, we got some string, which I need one off, I think. Beetroot seeds, coal, coal. Gunpowder, no. Beetroot seeds, no. Um, string don't need. Iron horse armor, do I need it? I've got a few of them already. But I've got a new book in the form of projectile protection. What can I... Dirt can be replaced with that. Uh, and I want the music, to be fair. So 
I'll stop the music for one hour. And something else I can throw away nice and easily will be... What? I need, I need some building blocks. I mean, that would get me wood. Spyglass is harder to make. That's Let me see what's in the next one. Fawns free. Bread, bread. A saddle. I've got a lot of saddles already, though. We don't need. Actually don't need. What I'll do is I'll put a crafting table in here. And then I'll take the wheat. And I'll do this. Get this bit of bread. Uh, Sort that for a book. It's Fawn's Free, not a great book, but it is a book nevertheless. Cooked cod goes in there. That's there. Also, another block. Another. Oh. Oh, yes. What a great day. What a giant leap for a series this is. So much stuff found. But it's only a giant leap if I make it back home safe and sound and don't die in the process of getting home. But we have got a double spawner uh, of both a cave spiders and uh, zombies literally next to each other. Be careful here. Don't want to disrupt any gravel. You alright, son? Um, there's also a whole ravine up here. Littered with mobs. If you're not careful, they will fall on your head. I'll collect some lapis on the way. And ideally, I need to kind of dig out in a pretty vertical manner out of here, I'd say. Just to ensure that I know where this area is. I'm going to place a lot of lighting down and try and stop things spawning. I don't lie, a lot of the zombies and the mobs seem a bit confused today on my whereabouts. Oh my god. It's a glow squid that there's a glow squid down here. I'm trying to put out, put out misery, but <laughs> I haven't really got anything. So a... Is it worth picking up? For a bucket it is, I can get iron easily. He was trapped there, the poor thing. I had to help him out. And like I said, I'm going to actually try and get rid of a lot of like passive mobs. And I hope to stop... I hope to start making it spawn some cows, some pigs. Some chickens. All the good stuff. Stuff we need. Anyone see any gold anywhere? There we go. Yes, sir. That was iron. Redstone through here, but maybe something else. It's a way out. Way up, not a way out. What was my way in? I feel like it was quite easy, but I just followed the pathway and suddenly I, saw, I just saw wood, didn't I? So I just followed it. Hmm. I do think it might be the case that we might have to just uh, just go for it and dig up. I 
I need to ensure that I go in direction that isn't where there's just going to be walls there above me. But we're going for it. Wish me luck. I'm going to dig up to the surface. Um, we're currently at level 3, so it's quite a way up. But yes, I was hoping this would happen. I'm hoping I'd find some coal on the way. And coal I have found. Because now coal will be my only resource basically to make torches. I think I make torches out of charcoal anyway, can't I? I'm not even sure. Can I? Doubt it myself here. Um, oh, that's a good little strain of coal. Love that. Right, so then donk. And then uh, donk. I use the staircase to come back down because this should lead me perhaps directly into the spawners. Build a tower on top of this with the cobblestone that I've secured. Do a dual stack tower. When are we getting out of this place? Surely it's close now. 35. Is surface 64? I think it is, right? Oh yes, more coal. Ideal. Okay, that's not good. We need to uh, change directions. Can we go this way? Nope. That's also bloody node. Can I go this way from here? I'm not out yet, by the way. Like, surely. I've been digging forever. Oh. Is that noise again? Right, son. So I was digging into a mountain, hence why it was a bit higher. Where am I right now? Because I know I need to actually. I need to uh, open this up. Okay, very clear this is the entrance that I come in. And then what you do is you go um dum dum. Oh my god. Why is that creepy looking at me? Please stop creeping. Where's my where where is my um Island. It's over there somewhere. Just want to make sure I can see my tower from here. There's one there. They might have been connected, those two mine shafts, by the way. They actually might be similar. But yeah, I can actually have to see this now. That's good. And then we just dig down. I would jump to the creepers, but not worth it. Just in case it blow me up. Shit. I think one died in the process there. All right, so I'm gonna keep walking down here, but I do wanna make it back home. I just wanna see if I bump into like a wolf or anything. I've been in this area for a while, so you'd hope that in this chunk, something might have spawned. These are all the new areas I've not really explored in as well, so there could be some more cool things to witness and see. But let's, not let it, let's, let's not risk it too much and get let it get to night time because no, I end up, I end up dying. 
Oh, lava. Is there gold next to it? Oh my god. What's this? That visually seems really cool. There's nothing to it though. Some colour up there. But there's nothing else to it. But that is visually cool. On the hunt for animals. Any animals out there? Any wolves? Anything? Once again, there's coal. I can get two more coal to get a full stack. Have that. I've not even been out this bit since it all expanded, or have I been out here? I've forgotten. There's so much more to find that I haven't really found yet. But all of it really kind of, all of it kind of really circles back to needing animals. I think I'm mad. I thought I just saw an animal there, but it was nothing. It's a plant. Anything out here? Because still could be like another village. There could be all types of things, right? What other things can you find? There's that end game place where like you get the uh, totems. What are they called? It's like a big building. You have to go in it and it's really hard to fight. It has loads of villagers and pillagers in it. Um, but yeah, there's that. I could be around here somewhere. Who knows? Stronghold, that's the word. That's all that. Anything else out here in the ice cap world? Anything cool to see? Now, let me get my boat. We'll do some exploration in my boat. But main thing should we get a home with all the stuff you got your hands on. We can be happy in the solace that I've made at least one advancement today in the form of the iron golem. But we still need more. That's the ice spike. Do you get anything from that? Is there anything around that? Doesn't look like it, but we saw that a long time ago. Oh. Not a time to be finding something, to be honest. These have items in them. They also have Donnie's protecting them normally. Where's the chest? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. There it is. There's a chest. I'd say no chest is quite strange. Ah, what? Oh my god, lure two fishing rod. Uh, guys, 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 quickly, quickly. That's good. I need to combine that with like, uh, obviously the one that I actually. One that I actually lost. That'd be perfect to blend with, you know? The one that was like uh, unbreaking and mending. Because <sighs> if you combine it with lure, then you'd have a, a nice lure too, and you wouldn't have stuff breaking on you. There's my portal over there. I was so close to the portal and I missed it. Shit. Screw it. A uh, couple. Of, no, yeah, screw it. That'll be fine. I ran along. What the hell? Why have you grown there? Why is there dirt around here? It was once normal land. How far away is my island? <laughs> Because it's starting to get dark. I need to get a move on. Right, 
We've been to that one before. Down there, so that's all good. I need to get that at some point and harvest it. Oh, that's bad. That island probably has some more stuff to go check out now, doesn't it? But the good thing is we are leaving with a brand new fishing rod in the form of Lure 2. We've got an iron golem. He's there. Look, I can see him. He's chilling, protecting the island whilst we're away in case anyone tries to mess with it. He's holding it down. We'll go to the side where my dock is. What a beautiful, beautiful game. So iron golem secured, grindstone secured. I think that is a good kind of um, return on our first episode back, to be honest, about us dying in the process ain't stupid. I can put away some of this stuff that I've secured. More iron there. Got a couple of books that I'm going to put in here for now. Projectile protection, thorns three, and fortune two. Just fort fortune goes on a pickaxe, isn't it? That's good, right? It gets you like I'm pretty sure fortune. You put it with a pickaxe, and you get more stuff. Like more stuff. You find diamonds. You might get two diamonds in a one. You have like a chance of getting more. Um, take those. Put the lapis down here. Um, and then gold, I want to smelt straight away. Oh, misc items. We've got music disc, spyglass. I should keep I should keep spyglass with me in case I see a parrot. Um, I'm going to put these rails in here. Just adding to the collection. Nice little rail collection there. Looking good. Um, these will go upstairs. Globaries go. I'm guessing Globaries go in. They should go in here because they're berries. I still haven't found my berries, but I found these. Um, coal, 64 coal. Love that. Needs to organize that all out soon as well. But all in all, I'll take that as an episode for today. We need to make some more advancements because we're so, so close to getting to the village. Got to try and find this lush cave, wherever it may be. Got to try and get Silk Touch on a pickaxe. I've got uh, level 16 right now, so if I do some enchantments, I could try and get some stuff done. I need to get... I need to catch some stuff with this fishing rod. Maybe I can sit there and try and do some fishing uh, and see if I can find anything with Lure 2. Because maybe I can find myself another fishing rod with um, some good stuff on it that I could then blend together with what I've got as well. Um, so that's saying potentially do. He's there protecting me. I should realistically now torch out my whole island. Um, people were saying that also as well because I don't think I need mobs on my island anymore. There's a time when I had an, I can need a necessity to have mobs on my island, but now I really don't. The mobs I do need are passive ones. I need pigs. I need chickens. I need cows. So maybe I light all this up, and there's no anything dodgy spawning around. Maybe I have a better chance. Have that block over there, son. Oh god. Right, at least it's a slight little uh, light up. Yeah, I'm gonna do some fishing. Uh, we'll see if anything is cool. I think lure just means that you have a better pull rate. I think luck of the sea gets you better items, but lure gets you or lure. Uh, gets you a better drop rate, so it happens more often. Which normally you wait for the rain to happen, in fact, for, for it to occur. But obviously this occurs all the time now, which is good. So hopefully we can pull something good out of this, even if by fishing a little bit here and there. So I'm hoping to try and get something right for the end of the episode. But you know what? I'll leave it there for today's episode. Got lots of stuff to record and get back ahead with. Now I'm back from your holidays. Um, so if you enjoyed, leave a like and as always. And like I always say, please do subscribe if you're not already. I'm trying to get to 100k subscribers on this channel so we can get ourselves a little YouTube plaque to add to the collection. Um, so yeah, until next time, goodbye.